you want to tinker with serverless infrastructure at home to improve your understanding of how containers work. Kudos to you. That's fantastic practice and might even improve performance of some of your home lab infrastructure. In this video, we'll cover the top five Docker containers for home servers. These were picked for a blend of tinkering and being able to leverage your knowledge for professional applications. Portainer. Portainer is a highly scalable container manager for numerous platforms, including Docker. Portainer helps configure, secure, and deploy containers using definable standard settings. It also provides options for and visibility into platform management and end-to-end -end lifecycle management. Portainer promises vendor and technology agnostic container management and largely succeeds at that goal. Another bonus, Portainer provides a straightforward user interface. That helps you learn to use and manage containers at their pace and at the level of complexity with which they are comfortable. In the corporate space, it also provides the ability to evaluate the transition between virtual machines, VMs, to containers and microservices. Elastic. Elasticsearch is self-described as a free and open search and analytics engine. Combined with Kibana, which provides data visualization, it's a powerful tool for aggregating and analyzing large data sets. Elastic is a competent security information and event management, SIEM tool, a valuable big dataset analytics tool, and a fantastic reporting tool. As long as you can rationalize and sanitize data, there's not much holding back what you can do with Elastic. MS SQL Server. Many organizations use SQL in some capacity. Those legacy instances almost certainly run on server or VM infrastructure. A containerized environment is a fantastic alternative to bulky and expensive VM infrastructure. It's a more effective use of resources. From a professional development standpoint, understanding how to run a containerized SQL instance and how to migrate data effectively to that instance is invaluable. MS SQL is a Docker container that accomplishes that goal. It provides Docker infrastructure to run MSQL Server 2019. It does so well too. In doing so, it provides a good way to learn how to use and migrate SQL databases from a server-based to a serverless version. Home Media Containers Plex and Jellyfin are two options for Dockerized home media delivery. They provide good, useful examples of serverless hosting infrastructures that delivers content within and off network. Also, they let you stream content to all your network connected devices. While this doesn't necessarily improve streaming performance, it is a good way to tinker with containerization and see results. It's also a good example of using containers to host dynamic content. Apache. This is another real-world example of hosting traditionally server-based content in Docker containers. Apache is a great option for a home Docker server if you want to better understand how to develop and deploy scalable websites. Practicing in your home lab may be less expensive than practicing in an AWS, Google, or Azure environment, but the knowledge gained is very transferable. Additionally, you can also integrate other containers depending on the website's functional structure. Depending on what skills you want to develop, there are many useful containers that can help you tinker and experiment. These five highlight management, log aggregation, data manipulation, and dynamic content hosting, likely including some sort of migration. Those elements are critical to proving and maintaining value in the corporate environment. The home use case is perfect too. You're unlikely to break anything seriously enough to compromise your production environment. 
you are also able to leverage sparse home resources more efficiently by aggregating and containerizing services. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.